Hello, this is a video of an infusion I just did on a hydroplane, a outboard race boat, just the bottom half. Um, I'm going to narrate it because the audio wasn't very good on the video camera I used. That was a, the picture of us laying down the material first. Uh, there's the core pieces that it had to fit. That's the uh, flow media with the uh, one resin runner down the middle and two on the sides. Uh, we ended up only using the middle one. It made it through the whole part without having to use the other ones. I uh, Those other ones I just called my chicken strips just in case they uh, didn't make it. I didn't do a test run of this uh, layup schedule beforehand. So that's why I had those spirals in there for secondary runs if the resin didn't make it across but the, but it did so just showing the resin coming across the part this part if you can see is about twelve and a half feet long and at the widest point about five and a half feet wide so it's a pretty big part it's the biggest infusion I've ever done and it turned out pretty good it took over just over an hour um, to do the infusion it's using the pro set uh, infusion specific resin uh, the slow version mixing it in small batches and keeping that that center bucket basically the feed line full not to introduce any air On the outside I have this MTI uh, vacuum hose. has a membrane around it to not allow any resin, but still sucks down. Still lets the air go through, but no uh, liquid. It really worked out well. There's a uh, shot of the Sponson. It's a leading edge. The vacuum line there... Um, I should have used the uh, hose with the fiber reinforced because it did start to collapse over time. I let it let the vacuum pump run for 24 hours just to make sure it really uh, resin had time to kick. But I should have used a little stiffer hose because it did start to collapse a little bit. You can see here the MTI, the epoxy is running alongside of it and not going inside the hose. I didn't end up having any resin in my catch pot, which was pretty great. Really was smooth. This is, like I said, the biggest infusion I did. Um, I've done other boats, wet layup with vacuum bagging, and Found, my, found myself running around worrying about getting everything down in time before the resin kicked. This was pretty laid back and not very difficult. All the work was done ahead of time, so that was nice. You can see my catch pot there is actually just a uh, rice cooker pot I got from Goodwill for like $3.00 with some plexiglass and uh, some fittings so there's no real need to buy one of those $200 catch pots because that worked out pretty great so I'll definitely be reusing that Those uh, clamps I just got, those are from my canopy. They hold down my canopy on my truck. So I multi-purpose a lot of parts on here because I don't, I don't like buying stuff just for doing this for no reason. So I 
Oh yeah, the vacuum pump I used was uh, from Harbor Freight. So it's a two-stage, three CFM. Uh, worked out great. It did put off a lot of uh, oil vapor, uh, which is why I ran the pump outside, because it would have filled my little garage up pretty quick with oil. Um, and if you do that with heaters going, you could have a bad day. So vacuum pumps outside. Here's me starting to unmat or uh, take all the bag off and basically kicked overnight so um, I did have heat going put a bag and a t uh, blanket over it to keep the heat in but uh, basically removing everything everything went pretty smooth a couple spots where the bag didn't quite suck all the way down to the part but uh, definitely just some superficial stuff and all, most of this stuff will be uh, you won't be able to see it anyways so when the boat's actually finished. Sweeping up some of the dried resin. Shot of it with all the stuff removed. Next we'll be getting it out of the mold which was pretty tough. Took a few hours, a lot of wedges, a lot of time. There's a picture of the uh, part out of the mold. Uh, you see, there's a lot of sharp edges. Uh, a lot of it's a pretty complex part, but uh, came out pretty well. This is a picture of the boat. It's an all wood boat that I used uh, basically as my plug to make the mold. It weighed about 200 pounds, and this new boat should weigh about 100, 110 pounds. That's the uh, motor and basically the whole boat. Thanks for watching. I almost forgot. Go Cougs.